On this monster pickup truck, we're going to check for a bad injective I used on oscilloscope. Look at the fourth pattern from the left. That's number two injector. We're going to look at the spark line. How the spark line rises like the fire line. See how it's going compared to the other three? That usually indicates a lean misfire over that cylinder. That usually caused by a bad injector or sometimes an intake vacuum leak also. Look at how it's rising. Remember, I'm looking at the spark line, the end of the spark line, compared to the three on the left. Yes, this car does have oil in it. It just sounds pretty bad. <laughs> it does have oil in it, though. We're going to do it again and rev in the car. Look at it now. Look at the height of it. It's almost higher than the fire line. We're looking at the number four, number two injector, the fourth one from the left. A bad injector really shows up under a load. That's why I keep revving. It. That's why I keep revving it. I had them rev it. You see that? Look at how the end that spark line is going. Now what Jay's doing right now is looking for a uh, clicking noise using a stethoscope. Now this is going to fool people. Just because the car clicks, an injector clicks, does not always mean it's a good injector. You can have a plug nozzle, a punch one that's not opening up all the way. So a, a clicking noise is not always a good way to check for a bad injector. Now this one is clicking. Now we're going to check that same injector, number two, with an uh, amp probe using a pico scope. Low amp probe using a pico scope. We're going to show the good pattern first. That's an indication of a good pattern right here. The left side got a little dimple on it, it's on a slight angle. That's a good pattern. Now we're going to show the bad one. In this case, we got no picture at all. We should have changed our voltage. We should have changed our amp reading scale, but we didn't. <laughs> and yes, it's hooked up correctly. It's hooked up. All the connections are good, but not reading no amperage. Now we're gonna ohm out the injector. We're gonna use the ohm meter ohm the injector out. You can see you got the ohm meter set to a 200 ohm scale. That's a good one? Yeah. What's the meter? You know, I'm about to get one first. That's a good yeah, one. That ohm out pretty good. Now we're going to look at the bad one. Okay, it's going to read infinity yeah, because you have set it to a 200 ohm scale, so it's going to so it's going to overrange. We're going straight to the injector so we get a good connection. We don't just the wire, so we took out the wire. Okay, they went right to the okay. You can see this. It's set to a 200 ohm scale. It's overranging. The specification is from 12 to 15 ohms. And right now we're reading affinity or overrange symbol. No connection. Let me see the light. Especially in the line. You, you, you are touching it, right? Yes. Touch. Oh, that's the only shot. Remember, high resistance, low current. Shot it out. And 
takes turn to open up the injector. We got too much resistance. The injector's not going to open up completely. It may click, but it may not work correctly. Go to side. My angle is up. You want this? No, no. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, I can't get a good pitch on that injector there. Okay, so we diagnosed this car having a bad injector. That's your injector right there. Bad picture and all. <laughs> okay, see you in the next problem. Subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Open, open, no, nothing. Infinity.